What do microplastics actually do to us? I'm gonna share some information about microplastics and human health and the over 7,000 plus studies that have been done just on that topic. Microplastics have been found all over the human body in basically every single tissue that they're looking for. The predominant polymer is polyethylene, which is your food safe plastic. I'm only gonna mention two of the impacts that are very, very clear, right? And then I'm gonna talk about why it's going to be way worse than just the two very clear. One of the strongest associations is between microplastics and cardiovascular health. There have been tons of studies showing that microplastics increase our risk for heart attack, stroke. We already know that microplastics are cytotoxic, immunotoxic, and genotoxic, right? The findings of this review, when evaluated together with additional studies utilizing animal models, suggest that micro and nanoplastics may contribute to global cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. Another big review says these Yes, they increase your risk of a heart attack. The conclusion was literally the evidence suggests a very concerning link between plastic exposure and cardiovascular health. Also tons of studies linking microplastics to cancer. And generally microplastics, um, they cause basically a pro-tumorgenic environment in the body. Okay. There's so many cancers that microplastics have been associated with that like too many to name basically all the cancers. However, um, the one that continues to show the biggest association is with colon cancer, colorectal cancer. So there have been many reviews, right? But here's a little snippet from one. Their unique role as Trojan horses further exacerbates cytotoxic toxicity and activates carcinogenic pathways, highlighting a multifaceted contribution to colorectal cancer initiation and progression. But all of that is even inadequate. That's not even half of the risk. And you want to know why? Because all plastic is made out of polymers and chemical additives. So in these studies, they are only ever measuring the physical pieces of plastic and what they physically do to the tissue in that moment, but they're not looking holistically at all of the chemicals that plastic brings in, which also have been shown to be very bad for our bodies. Our everyday commodity plastics have at least 400 chemicals in them that we know to be hazardous to human health and have been proven to leach out from uh, the polymer bonds. There was a study published for the Global Plastics Treaty that found that just a handful of the most well-known chemicals that are used in plastic cost the United States $249 billion every single year because of all the diseases and disorders that they cause.